Am I the asshole for not telling my fiance that I used to work as an escort? About three years ago, before I met him, I briefly worked as an escort. It wasn't long, about four months. And I don't have some sob story about how I felt abused and exploited because frankly, I didn't like any job. It had its good parts and its bad parts. I don't have some dramatic story about escaping it. I stopped simply because I didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't require therapy or rehab. I just moved on and got a quote unquote normal job. I have been regularly uh, tested and have no STIs, nor so I have any emotional scars from it. It's now no one's business because it won't impact any other relationships. However, it feels wrong. I can't share this. He once asked me how many sexual partners I had had and I simply said a lot and told him technically the truth that I was prolific at one point in my life, but I'm no longer and <laughs> don't intend to do so. I'm still scared to potentially ruin a great thing if I reveal it, but I'm also not look I, but I'm also not looking forward to keeping this a secret for life. Firstly, I love that she called herself prolific. I'm going to start calling mm. my hoe phase prolific. I love that term. Absolutely. Oh, it's just hard because, again, the stigma makes it hard. You had, I hate yeah. the word normal job. You had a job. It was a job. And what's the difference? Because he's a man and I'm not, you know, stereotyping, but I am. He probably had a horny side too. That fuck, yeah. what's the fucking difference? Like, you at least got, you paid, got paid for it for and it. got your bag. Yeah. You got your bag. Like, I honestly think you need to have this discussion because what if you never have it, you get married, you have this discussion after you get married and you see his true colors. As much mm. as this guy is the love of your life in that, the discussion needs to be had. But then it obviously calls into like, do you feel safe having that discussion with him? Is there other information we don't know that he's sex phobic or something? Like, what's... Like, I, as long as she can safely have this, I really want her to have that. I totally understand where you're coming from. But I also think that, like, if she's worried about having to keep this a secret, mm -hmm. like, for me, I've known people who have done sex work who are actively in relationships, who are actively participating in sex work, who haven't told their partner, their long-term partner, mm -hmm. their partner the person that they've been with for a long time yeah because it puts them at risk and it also puts their children at risk and it puts it's the people so in, in their yeah. lives at risk because at the end of the day you don't know how a man's gonna react you have no, no fucking idea so personally and again this is the thing is like she might feel safe in that moment but he could flip a switch at any point in time and yeah. tell everyone and again it was four months in her life when she was what 31 uh yeah. i don't think personally like, and this is my own personal, like all like sex work jobs are valid, obviously, but doing it for four months kind of in, in the grand scheme of things is a bit of a blip compared to like, do, say if she had done it for five years or four years yeah. or if she'd done it, you know, for at least I feel like a year. Cause you know what I mean? Like the industry can fluctuate so much to the point where like one month you can have like it one is a high client a industry. week. Yeah. Yeah. So like it, you could have lots of clients in a month. You could have no clients. Like, you know what I mean? So like. The mm. issue with a four month time, and it sounds like she did well for herself if she said that she, you know, <laughs> was prolific in that time. That's great. Yes. But I think that, um, I think for what her experience was like, I don't think she should be bringing it up with someone in this circumstance. You know what I mean? Like, I think that she should keep I think it that's a secret. Fair. I think that she should keep yeah. it to herself if she's not prepared to have everyone in her life know about it because it could come out if she tells one person and if there's not yeah. even one person that she's able to keep you know have this trust with where she can tell that person and confide in that person and be like hey i did this and i don't regret it and it made me happy and i got money and i would do it again potentially if that's how they felt you know what i mean like mm. there's that if she's in a position to feel like she could tell people, I feel like she should tell people because the more people we have being vocal about being sex workers and happy in that situation, yeah. uh, the better and the more destigmatizing that is. But again, it's down to personal choice, personal preference, personal situation yeah. and circumstances. If she can't tell that that person, if she's questioning it this much, I don't think she should. And the, it, just, again, yeah. on Reddit, she was voted as the asshole for lying and for keeping it a secret, of especially course. to the point where of she got she engaged. Was. I just, I think just this, like... is, this is something that like, especially men don't get, a, get to vote on because they have no idea yeah. how detrimental this is and impacts our lives as women and as sex workers, what? you know? What is the bigger picture of this is the fact that we even have to have a conversation about men 
men flipping out on us. We've all dealt with it. We all, every woman knows how it fucking feels to have one minute he's fucking normal, like he's like he's sweet, he's everything, and it just takes one comment or he sees one something, and next minute he's in your face or physically abusive or just gaslighting you, gaslighting the shit out of you, like whatever Mm. abuse, because apparently they know the whole fucking rolodex of abuse. Like the fact that that's why I don't think you know men can have their opinion blah 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 but in this case not like I just think as you've said like every woman has known like when they feel unsafe in a relationship and it's just sad that like like obviously we have to have that it's important to talk about it but it's just fucking sad how normalized it is that like every girl has a story about like you tell a partner something or they find out something not from you and they just get they just flip and it's just like Mm. and it's not even like current partners like a lot of time it's been ex-partners of mine who have found out something and have threatened me have become abusive like all that and it's just like the ownership men have over women and the idea of like the madonna whore complex which one of my all-time favorite episodes i've ever done go back it's a bit of a rewind but amazing it's just ridiculous and it's just like oh i just hate that we live in a man's world like i hate it yeah (laughs)